Even though it's 2023 and most iPhone users now have a lot of experience with iPhones, they probably had iPhones for years now, they still keep making the same iPhone mistakes. And some of them are actually very, very important. So you need to watch this video, watch these mistakes and try to avoid them doing on your device. And the first of them will be rebooting your device. When is the last time you rebooted your device? probably a long time ago. Now, not restarting your iPhone is really bad. When you restart your iPhone, it will clear open apps from the RAM memory. It will also fix any memory leak issues. It will stop any process or apps that might have been affecting your iPhone's battery life or performance. Now, restarting your iPhone is very easy. Now, all you have to do is ask Siri to do that. Restart my iPhone. Just like that, you can have Siri restart your iPhone and not have to worry about any of those issues. Try to do this every once in a while, maybe once or twice a week, and you will see your device's performance will be way, way better. Especially if you have an older iPhone, try to do this as much as you can. It will really affect the performance and battery of your device. Next up is AirDrop. Now there is of course a very good reason that Apple has changed the AirDrop setting where you can only enable AirDrop for everyone for 10 minutes. AirDrop is actually really risky, so I suggest you don't keep it on for a long time, even on contacts only. So you will have now everyone for 10 minutes, contacts only and receiving off. Like if you don't need, probably most of the day you don't need to have AirDrop turned on. Having AirDrop all the time on is very risky. There have been many reports of people using AirDrop to actually leak private, private information or maybe even install malware on a device or even try to control someone's iPhone. So you make sure that you keep AirDrop off for the most time. Only turn it on when you need it. That will be the best option. Next up is too many apps on iCloud. If you go to your iCloud settings at the top of your settings app and go to iCloud here, you will see apps using iCloud. Don't leave too many apps using iCloud. All of these apps are always working in the background, uploading, getting stuff from your iCloud. And if you have a limited plan, the free plan, the five gig plan, it will get filled up really, really quick if you have a ton of apps enabled here. So here's a list that I have here so you can see all the third party apps here that are using iCloud, not too many. So if you have a lot of apps, make sure you choose which apps can use iCloud, which not. Of course, you wanna have a few things turned on like your Safari, you wanna have the same stuff on all of your devices. With Safari, you need that. Of course, most of the Apple apps I suggest you turn on, but then when it comes to like games and things like third party apps, I suggest you turn most of them off because they will fill up your iCloud storage and of course, they will take a lot of CPU power and data in the background. The next mistake will be never deleting apps. Like even apps that you don't plan to delete, you plan to use for a longer time, I suggest you delete them every once in a while from your device. Like you can see all these apps right here that I have on my device for quite some time. This probably since September when I first got this iPhone, you can see most of these will have a ton of data there. Now there are some like Snapchat, for example, that offers you the option to clear the cache of that app so you just don't get all those files just stored on your device and taking up a lot of space, but some won't do that. So like TikTok, for example, or Instagram, you can see if we go to Instagram right here, the actual size of the app will be 267 megabytes, while we have 2.79 gigs of data and documents. Now, of course, this will build up with time. Even though I might delete the app right now, it will still get to this point at some time, but for a few weeks or months, you will have way more storage on your device. So just make sure every once in a while, a few apps that get a lot of space on your device, just delete them and reinstall them back on your device and you're good to go. You will have a ton more free space on your iPhone, even though again, these will just build up again, but it will take some time. And for that time being, you will have way more free space on your device. The next one will be the charging port. Never cleaning the charging port on your device is actually a big, big mistake. That might have a big impact on your battery's charging. Probably your battery might charge very, very slow or maybe not charge at all. So if you're having those problems with charging your iPhone, Take a look right here 
at the charging port. Of course, we keep our iPhones maybe on a purse or a bag or in our pockets all the time and it will collect a lot of dust. So make sure you actually go ahead and clean that. Make sure you do that always very gentle because you might damage something and always while cleaning the port, make sure that it's actually facing downwards so everything will drop. The next one, one of the biggest mistakes that you can do on your iPhone is not having find my phone, find my network and send last location turned on on your device. You might think you don't need this, but it might come a time when you wish you had these turned on. So these are very, very important for the security of your device and in any time your device might get lost or stolen, you wanna have these on. These will help you find your device located way, way easier. So find my phone, find my network, which will help users locate their, their iPhone even when it's offline, which is really, really important, and then send last location. So this iPhone, when the battery is crucial, will send the last location to Apple automatically. So even if I have lost it somewhere, it's not charging, I will have its last location probably that will be very, very important on me finding this device. So make sure that you always have these three settings turned on. You can find them at your iCloud settings at the top of your settings app. Next up will be your lock screen settings. And you can find these at face ID and passcode under the settings app and scroll down here, you will have allow access when locked. I can see with iOS 17, Apple has even added Siri here. So someone can use Siri on your device, even with their device locked. That's really interesting. But you can see right here, you can have access to all of these things, even though a device is locked. You can actually return a missed call or reply with a message or have access to lock screen widgets, live activities, and also the notification center, which is really, really interesting. So make sure you go ahead and check these out and have probably most of these turned off. I would suggest that you turn off missed calls right here or maybe reply with message. Siri, if you have iOS 17, a lot of these things probably shouldn't be accessible when your device is locked. So make sure you go ahead and check these. Next up, we're talking about the camera app. When it comes to the camera app, you wanna take great pictures and one thing that will help you a lot is using the grid setting right here under the camera settings. Make sure you go ahead and turn this on. Go to settings camera and have grid turned on. Now with iOS 17, we also have level, which is really interesting. So with the grid on, you will actually have it way, way easier to take great pictures with your device because you will always focus right here on the middle. And of course, have your subject there and your pictures will turn way, way better. Another thing that I see users try to reach for the top controls here to actually control everything while they're doing their camera with taking photos or videos. What, what you can do here is actually just swipe up and you can see all the controls are right here and it will have full control over your camera app. One of the really important things you want to do is make sure that you always have your apps up to date. Now having apps up to date is very important because your device will get iOS updates pretty frequently. So you have an iOS update and then the apps will be updated to actually support that iOS software and of course improve a lot of things. So you want to make sure you always have the latest version of each app. Make sure you go to the app store, update your apps all the time. And if you don't care about battery or your data, you just wanna have apps updated, you can easily go to settings here and make sure you just find the app store settings and turn on here the updates. So you will have automatic app, um, app updates right there. Turn that on and apps will be automatically updated all the time. And another mistake people might make on their iPhone is not updating. I see a lot of people actually don't have the latest iOS software on their device. They might update, but they might update after a month or two maybe. So there's probably another update coming up or has already been released and they are probably like two or three updates behind. So always make sure that you have your, your device up to date. Simply go to your settings, software update, and here all you have to do is just basically turn on everything on automatic. You will have all the latest updates. Make sure you have right here iOS updates. You have here security responses and system files as well. That's really, really important. So those are new updates that Apple has released. Wait, it won't update your iOS software, it just will update like 
add different security fixes and system files. So make sure you have all of these updated if you actually turned on if you don't want to update manually. So you always have the latest firmware on your device, which is really, really important. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 10 of the most common mistakes that the iPhone users do all the time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.